Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. So, as always, I'm going to start by reading the blurb, then we're going to go through my tabs, and then I'm going to share some overall thoughts on my rating at the end. So the blurb. All of the true things I'm about to tell you are shameless lies. Dr. Felix Hunnicker, one of the founding fathers of the atomic bomb, has left a deadly legacy to the world. For he is the inventor of Ice-9, a lethal chemical capable of freezing the entire planet. The search for its whereabouts leads to Honecker's three eccentric children, to a crazed dictator in the Caribbean, to madness. Will Felix Honecker's death wish come true? Will his last fatal gift to humankind bring about the end that, for all of us, is nigh? Told with deadpan humour and bitter irony, Kurt Vonnegut's cool tale of global apocalypse preys on our deepest fears of witnessing the end, and worse, still surviving it. I like this at the start. Anyone it Anyone unable to understand how a useful religion can be founded on lies will not understand this book. So throughout we get a few reference to Cat's Cradles, so for example here. Anyway, Father looked at that loop of string for a while and then his fingers started playing with it. His fingers made the string figure called a Cat's Cradle. I don't know where Father learned how to do that. From his father, maybe. His father was a tailor, you know. So there must have been thread and string around all the time when Father was a boy. Making that cat's cradle was the closest I ever saw my father come to playing what anybody else would call a game. And here he's talking about <laughs> this, is this guy. So this is books all really about this guy who's kind of like one of the fathers of the atom bomb. Did you ever hear the famous story about breakfast on the day mother and father were leaving for Sweden to accept the Nobel Prize? It was in the Saturday evening post one time. Mother cooked a big breakfast and then, when she cleared off the table, she found a quarter and a dime and three pennies by father's coffee cup. He tipped her. Thought this was a great line. My soul seemed as foul as smoke from burning cat fur. Okay, and so somebody says that scientists think too much, and we have, I think you're fine, said Dr. Breed, that everybody does about the same amount of thinking. Scientists simply think about things in one way, and other people think about things in others. And we have a lift operator as well, and I looked this up. So this was published in, what was it, late, mid to late 60s, um, 1963. But Automated lifts were a thing by then. I thought this was interesting too. Uh, I said to him, said Knowles, this is a research laboratory. Research means look again, don't it? it? means they're looking for something they found once and it got away somehow, and now they got to research for it. How come they got to build a building like this, with mayonnaise elevators and all, and fill it with all those crazy people? What is it that they're trying to find again? Who lost what? Uh, great quote again. P Peculiar travel suggestions are dancing lessons from God. Little conversation here, um... You, I take it, I said to the mosaicist, a Philip Castle, son of Julian Castle. That happiness is mine. I'm here to see your father. Are you an aspirin salesman? No. Too bad. Father's low on aspirin. How about miracle drugs? Father enjoys pulling off a miracle now and then. I'm not a drug salesman. I'm a writer. What makes you think a writer isn't a drug salesman? I'll accept that. Guilty as charged. We get the cat's cradle come back again. Uh, I suppose it means something different to everyone who sees it. It's a cat's cradle. Aha, I said. Very good. The scratch is a string, right? One of the oldest games there is, cat's cradle. Even the Eskimos know it. You don't say. For maybe a hundred thousand years or more, grown-ups have been waving tangles of string in their children's faces. Um, Newt remained curled in the chair. He held out his painty hands as though a cat's cradle was strung between them. No wonder kids grow up crazy. A cat's cradle is nothing but a bunch of X's between somebody's hands, and little kids look and look and look at all those X's. And no damn cat, and no damn cradle. And then there are two on this page I wanted to highlight. So we have this little conversation. I don't know anything about modern art. Sometimes I wish Newt would take some lessons so he could know for sure if he was doing something or not. Self-taught, are you? Julian Castle asked Newt. Isn't everybody? Newt inquired. And then we get this. A minute ago you said something about Jesus. Who? said Castle. Jesus Christ? Oh, said Castle. Him. He shrugged. People have to talk about something just to keep their voice boxes in working order. So they'll have good voice boxes in case there's ever anything really meaningful to say. So yeah, overall I thought this was really beautifully written. Actually, my favourite parts were just some of these one-liners that I've just highlighted. But um... I mean, it's not really a story with a plot, it's more one of those books that's about a specific character, but definitely provides a lot of food to thought, asks a lot of questions of the reader. I really enjoyed it, I gave it a 4.5 out of 5, and it's probably my favourite Kurt Vonnegut book so far, which is good, because I was a bit hesitant going into this, because I've had a few hits and a few misses with him, so yeah, enjoyed it, would recommend. 
So there we have it, that's what I thought of Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.